Oh, it's freaking hot in here. I just turned on the aircon. Yay! I don't know why. Please bear with me. I'm sorry, but I like yay a lot. And I do stupid things like this a lot. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If this is your first time here, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for clicking on me. And I will be your host today. <laughs> host. I'm just a one-man show. I'm sure all of you that watch my ranting video uh, have been waiting for this video where I explain to you what happened to me three weeks ago. Before I start rolling the footage of uh, my hospital clips, I just want to let you know that some of these pictures will be quite disgusting, uh, but they are real pictures of my wounds and my uh, recovery so yeah I'm currently in the hospital yesterday when I got home from work I was trying to do my kombucha so I boiled some chrysanthemum sugar tea and after it was done I was transferring it into the dining hall table um, as in like kitchen table sorry and the handle broke so the boiling water got on my hand and my leg and my feet luckily only on the left side so I managed to grab my phone and I called my friend emergency she came immediately after I got burned by the water I just I don't know how but I took a bucket of ice water and I soaked my feet and my hand in it and my hand got it the worst it was the most painful I couldn't even remove my hand from the ice water for a few seconds and it started to hurt really bad so my friend dropped me uh, quickly into the emergency ward and I got um, treated immediately. Uh, they jabbed me for painkiller and they put on some tape that will soak up all the water from the blister and then uh, Initially, they didn't really say I needed to be admitted, but because my parents are away until Friday, they went to Taiwan with my brother, so I'm home alone, and my friend said it's best if I just stay in a hospital in case of infection or anything I need, there's someone there that could help me. So yeah, uh... I got my friends to help me with my dog Brandy and I asked my sister to help me clean up the kitchen because the kitchen is in a mess and it's sugar water so I had to ask for her help obviously um, so last night once um, honestly it was the most painful thing I've ever felt before. Uh, once the coldness went off from my hand and feet, well, my hand was very, very the most painful thing. I was almost screaming in pain, and. Well, my thighs were painful, but because I couldn't um, ice my thighs much, so it has been painful ever since, and the pain was over at my thigh area. But my hand and feet, uh, yeah, so it was really painful. I was waiting for the painkiller that they jacked me with to kick in, and... I don't think they gave me a very strong painkiller. 
because I guess the logic is because they didn't want the painkiller to wear off and the pain to come at me one shot which is going to kill me I'm sure if it was that painful with the painkiller jab I can only imagine without the jab how painful it would even be so the doctor came this morning before the sun was up and he checked on me and he told me that tomorrow around evening time I will be put in anesthesia I'll be asleep while they remove every bandage and all the uh, things that stick on my hand and then they will cut away all the dead skin uh, because if not it will be a blister so they're going to remove all the dead skin and then they're going to bandage me back and after that I will be discharged from the hospital to recover at home so this is my hospital room the toilets here behind this wall and I have a, my own room because that's my bed well I have my own room because doctor said that I might get infected and they don't want me to be um, infecting other patients so yeah uh, my lunch just arrived. I had the uh, chicken porridge this morning. I've got some fish, uh, vegetables, rice, soup, and some papaya. Um, my friend also bought me some cheap bread from Family Mart, just in case that I'm hungry. And I've got my water some of my friends will be visiting me today so i'm gonna ask them to get me some coffee hi everyone just checking in um just had dinner they gave me fish again with rice and some vegetable uh, my sister and my friends came to visit me earlier and they brought me some food as well so now I'm just watching Frozen, uh, trying to stay positive, a bit worried about tomorrow, I'm nervous, uh, hopefully everything will go well and then I'll be able to check out. Uh, I've had a bit of a wipe down and change of clothes, asked my sister to bring me. So yeah, I'm just going to chill out and go to bed. Good morning, I hope you're doing well. It's the day I'm going to go into the operation theater. Sounds really scary. Oh my god, I look like crap. This is real life. I told you I'm going to be real and raw with you guys. I'm not gonna hide anything. If I'm gonna look ugly, yes, I'm gonna look ugly now. I am in the hospital. <laughs> Uh, uh, so nervous about later I'm not sure if I will be checking out today we shall see what happens after the procedure I'll probably be asleep Brandy is totally fine she's staying with Christina she sent me pictures and I will insert them somewhere on the screen she's enjoying herself so I'm really happy uh, thank you Christina for just taking Brandy in and I'm really grateful for that also thank you Joey Gordon uh, Joey's mom Isaac for coming to visiting me Jen and David as well thank you for coming to see me um, for all of you who wasn't here Please don't feel sorry because you know me. I don't really want to tell anyone because I don't really want to deal with the whole situation where everyone comes and asks me what happened. So you will know uh, through this vlog what happened. Good morning. 
I hope I get to discharge today. Uh, I didn't record after I came out from the operation theater because I was quite uh, drowsy. Uh, my sister came last night. She bought me pizza for dinner and I had some chicken croissant and a whole bunch of salad. I really enjoyed the salad because I haven't had salad in a while. Um, yeah, so good morning and now it's breakfast time. I asked for some French toast and they also gave me Australian honey and I made some coffee. I'm so happy today I got coffee. The last two days they gave me Milo and I was like, I need coffee. Yeah, so hopefully this needle will be going today and I will be going home. Uh, my sister will be coming again with the kids. Happy she came yesterday night with the kids. They accompanied me for a while. Yeah, so doctor's not here yet. We'll see what doctor says later. So I thought I would be discharged today, but uh, the doctor came to see me and he told me that it makes more sense to discharge me tomorrow because in the morning they'll be changing my dressing and then I will have to come back on Monday to do my dressing again so I have to do that every two days yeah every two days my thighs and feet are still roughly leaking still but yeah, doctors say that's a good thing because the more it leaks means that the faster it is in recovering. Uh, yeah, looking forward to recovery. But uh, on the bad news side, I just uh, been told by the doctor that I will be on three weeks MC, which means that I won't be able to go to the music run on 4th of November. <sighs> and... I guess it's a good news that I will be checking out tomorrow on my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to me! <laughs> I told my friends to bring me a slice of cheesecake today uh, when they are coming so that I can have some cake. This morning, I've got my dressing done and I'm discharging today! Oh, still got some plaster on them. So yeah. I'm discharging today! Yay! I can get to go home! Um, earlier, they dragged me with a painkiller that was kind of drowsy. And then after that, I waited for the doctor to come to change my dressing. Oh my god, when he was cleaning my feet, that's the worst part. Because the wound on my feet is quite deep so it was quite painful and he was rubbing like cleaning it and I, oh my god even with painkiller i still felt the pain but now it's over and i'm ready to be discharged my friend's gonna come get me and send me home yay i can go home now i miss brandy a lot so yeah that would be exciting Hello everyone! So I went back for a follow-up checkup today with Dr. Soma and trust me I was so scared of this follow-up because Dr. Soma is like <laughs> fast but painful so I was so like nervous on the bed. <sighs> I'm glad it ended up he allowed the nurse to clean me up. And so the nurse was very kind because I was really painful. There's no injection of painkiller today. So I was like, ah, and I was helping her put on the new dressing. So yeah, lucky thing though, I would say is my pinky is fine now, although it's ugly. It's ugly. But I will show you what's uglier. 
I still have another appointment on Tuesday. Hopefully everything will be good. Here's my feet. So that's a lot better. Uh, I'm sorry I can't show you my thigh area because I'm wearing long pants. But my finger is fine now. It's getting a lot better. I don't know why talking about this just brings so much fear back into my head. Like relieving the situation is just so scary. <sighs> please people, please 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 be very careful when you're cooking in the kitchen or you know you're handling hot items. Please 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 be very careful. I do not want whatever happened to me to happen to anyone because it was really a traumatizing incident. But I'm thinking that the reason why this happened to me is so that I can share with everyone what I went through and how my recovery journey is. So this is why I made this video. These three weeks I have been at home, I've been recuperating and I've been just wondering what's the real reason that this happened to me. Like what am I supposed to take out of this journey? And I realized uh, that you only have one life and you really need to do uh, whatever you want to do in life for example if you have a dream that you want to achieve go ahead and start chasing after your dreams like now because you really don't have that much time don't don't be afraid just just start just start just start doing it just start just do it okay I've always wanted to start my own channel on YouTube uh, since three to four years ago but I have always been delaying this I have had fears about how people would be judging me how my friends and family would think about what I want to do and I've just been delaying this because of all these fears I had about starting my own channel and I don't have the proper equipment like a proper camera uh, all these things that you know professional YouTubers use uh, to record themselves so I was just pushing this over like it's been years now and I'm, I'm starting now I know that uh, I'm not young but I also believe that it's never too late to start chasing after your dreams uh, as long as you want to then go for it because you don't want to end up one day uh, on the deathbed and regretting never been able to chase after your dreams never been able to even try it just start doing it and you know one day you never know what brings to you on this journey of chasing after your dreams take baby steps I'm taking baby steps I'm still learning I'm not great I'm not a professional obviously as you can tell whatever you want to do in life whether is it being a great in uh, tennis or uh, being good in swimming knitting cooking baking uh, whatever whatever you want to do in life just start start okay thank you for watching and before i go I'd just like to thank chloe for coming in an emergency situation to save me uh, you were truly a savior i thank you so much thank you shirley for taking good care of me during my time in the hospital and bringing the kids to come visit me that was really nice of you i was really happy to see all of you the day of my surgery also bianca was really kind uh, she helped me out in the hospital because i couldn't shower so all i could do was just wipe myself down and she was there to help me to uh, rinse the cloth and uh, squeeze it dry so that I can wipe myself. I'd like to thank Christina for taking Brandy in and taking really good care of her. I'm also grateful that you sent me pictures of her having fun with Lucas. Thank you Anthony, Easy, Saggy for coming to see me at the hospital. Thank you Joey, Gordon and your Joey's mama for coming as well. Thank you Isaac for surprising me 
with a visit and bringing me whatever I was craving to eat. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you so much to my mom as well for taking uh, me to the hospital follow up checkups. Uh, I really learned that. I could rely on her and I'm very grateful that I have the best mother on earth. Thank you Shirley for bringing mom and dad to come see me the day they came back from Taiwan. Thank you Sherry for calling all the way from Brunei. I'm sorry I made you cry. I'm sorry I made you worry. I'm fine now. I cried, I cried with you also. I've also learned that I'm truly blessed and I'm loved by a lot of people. Thank you so much. Also know that this happened during the week of my birthday and I'm really thankful for everyone who wished me on 21st. I know it's sad but it's fine. It's totally fine. These are accidents and it was unpredictable. But it's cool. Next year my birthday will come again and I'll be able to celebrate again with dinner and whatever so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye